36 hours after the murder of our deputy, the men and women of our department arrested him. 洛杉矶县警长卢纳在周一早上的新闻发布会上，公布了上周六杀害警局官员瑞安·克林昆布鲁莫的嫌犯信息。The suspect has been identified as 29, 29-year-old Kevin Gatiano Salazar of Palmdale. 警方指出，这次逮捕行动中，警衔对峙了数小时，最后嫌犯才投降自首。Those special enforcement deputies. Took the time to try to de-escalate this and take this individual peacefully into custody, when they knew that our deputy was not afforded the same opportunity. He never gave our deputy a chance, but yet our men and women gave this individual a chance to take him into custody peacefully. 上周六下午六点左右，三十岁的洛县警局官员克林昆布鲁莫在棕榈谷市执勤时，在巡逻车中被嫌犯枪击。这位警官出生在一个警官世家，父亲和祖父都是警察。在出事前几天，他刚刚与未婚妻订婚。他的家人在声明中指出，瑞安是一位敬业、勤奋的副警官，他非常喜欢这份职业，并感到自豪。他们深深地怀念瑞安。目前有报道指出，嫌犯可能患有精神疾病，并接受了多年治疗。过去十个月以来，他停止了服药，也没有偏激的行为。Whether mental health is a factor or not, think about this. If I had to go to your family and tell them that you were not coming home and you were just murdered, does it matter what the person was thinking or their condition? We now wait for George Gascon, the district attorney. We expect that he'll do what he assured Sheriff Looney he would do, and make sure that this does not happen to another family. 案件发生后，洛杉矶县警官协会发起募款，希望帮助警官克林昆布鲁莫的家属渡过难关。新唐人电视台洛杉矶记者站综合报道。